He's been empowering and motivating leaders for many years, and he personally enabled me to turn my business around. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you Mr. Scott Alexander. You cannot rest on your past accomplishments. You cannot pretend. You have to keep moving. You have to stay on the path. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. And you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. I tell people all the time that martial arts is the pursuit of perfection that is ultimately futile. <laughs> but it's okay because it's not the perfection that matters, although that's what catches our eye. Black belt leaders look for the opportunity to transform circumstances, and then they do it, no matter how difficult it may be. When I want to transform circumstances, I only have to ask one question. What would be the perfect situation? And here's the key. We don't do it because it's policy. We do it because it's who we are. It's the pursuit. It's the urge to always make things better, stronger, more flexible, more resilient, that propels us forward rather than leaving us behind in the status quo. Black Belt leaders consciously empower their people to move toward perfection. Because the more times you're challenged, the more opportunity you have to face your doubt. And the more times you face your doubt, the more opportunity you have to develop true confidence. So I'm not saying that this is going to be easy, but it's a different way to think about things, and it's a different way to approach things. And I never would have thought about that, even had that insight, if it weren't for Scott. You let go of the idea that you can never have it nailed. You let go of the idea that you can create the perfect plan. You let go of the idea that everything has to go according to the plan. And then you just be. You live your training. You live your principles. And you become a leader. Don't just do leadership. Be a leader. And use these principles to guide your way.